was whoosh and roar and boom. Five years ago today, an Austin man carried out a suicide mission, flying his small aircraft into the side of the Echelon building, targeting local IRS offices. The pilot, Joe Stack, was killed along with an IRS employee, Vernon Hunter. Thirteen others were injured, two critically, including Shane Hill. At the time, he was a deputized U.S. Marshal assigned to the IRS to investigate financial crimes. He's also a husband and a father, and his road to recovery is now taking a positive turn. And when you figure out that you're not guaranteed the next second or the next minute or the next day, then it's, it changes your perspective. A lesson learned on February 18, 2010. Shane Hill was sitting in his first floor office on the phone with his son's school when the plane hit. Fuel from the wings led to an explosion. His body was on fire. In addition to the physical damage, Shane also suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. My skin's not as thick as it used to be. Um, the mental side of it uh, seemed to linger a lot longer than the physical side of things. So. But Shane doesn't like to dwell on the past. I feel like I've got a, a good thing going. This is the Burn Unity's in today, a barbecue cook-off team full of friends and family with the sole purpose of raising money to help others who've been in Shane's shoes. Like the family of Marcus Newman, the Elgin High School student who was inside this home during a propane explosion. They also gave money to Ann McSwain, a police officer from the Dallas area who was set on fire by a burglary suspect. I was able to speak to her on the phone and tell her about myself and my issues and what I went through. They are just two of more than a dozen the crew has been able to help, and there are no plans of stopping anytime soon. And Shane tells me 100% of the proceeds go to help others, and not just burn victims, but those suffering from PTSD, veterans, and anyone else who they can find who needs help. And online right now you can find this timeline of what happened that day as well as the investigation that followed. Just head to our website and click on this story at KXAN.com.